Hi, it's Daniel from the Computer Repair and Sales Company Elite PCs. If you're like me, you like Grand Theft Auto 4 for PC, and you may have come to find that it doesn't work so well in Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. Uh, I'm going to give you a hand installing that. First thing you're going to do is actually ignore the uh, Games for Windows Live installation from the disk, and you're actually going to install the most up-to-date version first. Now when you go to the download link, you're going to notice that uh, like none of the links basically work. Um, so I'm actually going to go back and just have Rockstar give you a help. So under Games for Windows Live Rockstar, it's going to provide you this link here. It's going to give you the proper link to download Windows Live. Click download Windows Live and you can run that. You might also just want to save that so you have it handy. We're going to launch it. We don't need this anymore so we'll get, close that. So once the client is installed, I'm not going to log in now, but most importantly the client is actually installed. Okay, We can close that and we're going to go Run the autoplay. Yes, we want to run the autoplay. You're going to accept that, of course, even though most of the time we don't accept it at all. Click Next. Games for Live. It's already installed, so it's going to go past that. It's not going to bother you. Social Club. They don't use it anymore, but for now, click Next. Uh, you only need a typical install unless you want to change the destination folder or anything like that. And we're going to click next and install. So we're going to be a few moments here actually installing the software and we'll be back for the next step. Okay, so we're back and the game is installed. Now, we just got to install some updates here. got some title updates so I'm just going to install the first update I don't know if the very last update that they did have for the game uh, includes everything that's here it's no harm just to install them all anyway so rather than uh, muck up the game just take it in stride doesn't take long. One of these updates uh, was actually an update uh, for uh, the game games for Windows Live, so we won't be applying that, of course. And it's this one here, so we're just going to bypass that one. Now this is the last patch. Just gonna make sure this isn't together. Okay, now we're just about finished here. Close that there. Now there's uh, there's one thing we'll still have to do here, and that's enter the uh, the product key. Uh, this was actually a replacement disc for the original. The original you had for quite some time, years in fact, and uh, um, you know the the disc had become fatigued and uh, cracking in the center. And, uh, yeah, it was easy peasy actually. Uh, Rockstar was really good for uh, a, f a small fee, uh, about a third of the game's cost, um, presumably for shipping and whatnot and processing, handling, that type of thing. Uh, 
they uh, they replaced the disks. So I just got them back today, and because we have a new installation here, a new Windows installation, I'm just putting it back in. Okay. So of course we're going to put the key in here, and all right, and I'm just going to put in my information here. I don't know why it's asking for Social Club, to be honest. Oh yeah, sorry, that was the new Social Club login. It's been about a month since I've played the game. I forgot exactly what it looked like. There you have it. Okay, so although there's uh, a blank screen here, there's nothing actually wrong with it. You just have to wait for it to load. Keeping in mind, I'm running Adobe Captivate, so it's eating up resources here. <laughs> so you go ahead and configure your game as per usual, and go ahead and play. I'm just going to exit the game for now. That's all there is to it, friends. If you have any questions, go ahead and put it in the comments area. Or uh, certainly you can uh, use the contact section uh, of the website, www.elitepcs.ca, and I'll get back to you. Thank you very much.